Hi everyone and welcome to Web is Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakh and this tutorial about how to calculate the distance between two addresses using Google Maps API, Google Matrix API. But before discuss the script itself and how to use the service in the script, let's first enable these two services in our account in Gmail. First, search for Google Matrix JavaScript API. Here, the guide for the distance matrix service. The first step is to follow all these steps to enable the API go to api console click on this link wait a moment then create a new project name your project i will name it calculator calculator and create Wait again until creating the project. After creating the project, there is a notification that there is no APIs or services are enabled to this project. So you should go to the library to browse the library and find the specific API and enable it. Let's go and search we want we want matrix matrix api we should enable it click on enable yes it is enabled now After uh, creating and enabling this matrix API, you will see these notifications that tell you you should create credentials before using this API. Create credentials, click on this button. Now after creating the credentials, it will tell you to find the appropriate way to access the api as you see there is many ways to do that but we use api key to access our service so open it in a new tab here you can put the name for the api key and add your restrictions for using this api key as example you can use it for HTTP requests that used by websites only or for specific IP addresses or for Android apps or iOS apps only. Also, you should give an attention for this note. It may take up to 5 minutes for setting to take effect. So after creating this API, you may need to wait about five minutes to use it into your project now i let the settings as it is and create a new api here it is this is the api i will copy it and close this window then i will go to the script and I will change this API key in the link now I will go again and close this and I will go to library and search for 
Google Maps ABI Google Maps JavaScript ABI I will go here and enable it then after enable the Google Maps JavaScript API let's go again and enable Google places API and this Google places API web service this is used to the place or to complete if you saw my first tutorial about integrating Google Places API with geolocation and Google Maps, you already have a background about how to use Google Places API and how to deal with it. Now let's enable Google Places API and I will put the link above this tutorial to understand them well. Now after enable it, let's go to our example. First step is to load jQuery library and the Google Maps API and include the library places and the language is English and the key that we get from our API in the account. Then we load the bootstrap min.css to add some styling to the script the first we have a container into this container we have a form and a result let's focus on the form at first in the form we have a four inputs the first input and the third input used only by the google places api to support the auto completion so we can't use it to set the data for that we have two inputs again that used by the JavaScript the jQuery to set the data as you see here when I search let's open the inspector and see here here as you see there is a form places and two places let's search for Monpay when I click on Monpay see what happened here it set the location on the origin hidden input and I do this by using this listener and this listener I create an event listener and this the first listener that detect when I change the place by using document dot get element by ID then it will pass the autocomplete by using this ID from places let's go this is the ID from places now after Tying this ID by the listener if I change the place the place change it it will take the place then it will extract the formatted address and pass it to the input that have origin ID let's see this is the origin ID this is the hidden input that have origin ID it will pass the formatted address to this input into the value again I repeated the same steps for the two places input when I change the place it will get the place and extract the formatted address and pass it to the destination which is the next hidden input like this Monpay to Delhi 
and the gate as example as you see it will take the place and pass it into the hidden input so we have the original address and the destination address so what's next let's close the listener the next that when we submit this button here when we click on calculate what happened here we have a jQuery even selector that related to the form distance form see here distance form when I submit the form it will prevent the original submission and it will load the calculate distance function what is a calculate distance function it is a function that compare the two addresses and extract our data it will give us the data by using the callback function but first let's focus on calculate distance here we get the value from the two hidden inputs and then create a new service by creating a new object from using google.maps.distance matrix service let's see here if we go to the documentation you will see the same example create an instance and into the service we open get distance matrix function here and pass these values to it you have many options to pass to it to make it specified to your task but here we make a simple example first we pass the origins and destinations which we got from the two hidden inputs after passing it we choose the travel mode to be by driving driving the car you can specify what you want as example you may use bicycling or walking as you want then we use the unit system to get the result by miles and feet if you want to be by kilometers and meters you may use metric but first remember to hash this option and enable this option after this we disable the avoid highways and avoid tools again you have all the options here and you can customize by reading all these options as you need after this we have a call pack that give us the results and one of them the distance and the durations here we make a condition to check the status if it is okay or not okay if it is not okay it means that there is an error come from the api if not here we extract the original address the destination address and we check if there is a result or not if there is not a result we send this message else we get the distance and duration by extracting them from the response and we take the distance value and divide it by using 1000 this calculation for the kilometers and this calculation for the mile so if you want the value 
to be in kilometer then use this calculation if you want it to be in the mile use this calculation then there is a duration text that it calculated by default by using the service then we pass all these values to the in mile in kilo duration text duration value from and to spans let's see all these all these ids in the results as a span in mile in kilo duration text duration value from and to let's go to the example you go to localhost calculator.php you can make it as html as you want it is not a problem now let's open the inspector and let's type cairo in egypt and here alexandria also in Egypt and now let's press calculate and to see the result as you see the distance in miles and the distance in kilo and it will take about three hours and one minute and this is the value in minutes and this is the original address to the destination address finally i hope this tutorial to be a helpful for everyone and many thank yous for anyone that helped me and support me by suggestion to make a tutorials like this tutorial if you like this video and you want to get the latest tutorial follow me and subscribe to this channel if you have any question leave a comment thank you for watching see you next bye